Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you how to farm for beacons in Warframe. So the node you're going to want to head to is on Ceres, obviously, and you're going to want to head to the new Ovo node, which is a survival mission, and this is by far the best place to farm for these beacons. Now, if you don't know what the beacons are, uh, you will get an email when you log into Warframe after downloading Update 13, which will be from Lotus telling you that Vehek has moved his location from Earth to an unknown area, and you will need to gather these beacons to build a triangulator to triangulate his location. So, to farm for these beacons, you're going to have to play on the planet Ceres, because that is the only place to find the Prosecutor enemies, which are the only enemies to drop these beacons. There are four types of beacons, some are more rare than others, and some you will need more to craft the triangulator than the others. So, Playing through this mission, you will find a bunch of prosecutors compared to the other missions. Now, I tried defense missions, I tried exterminate missions, I tried all the types of missions on Ceres, and it seems that this survival mission is just the best by far. So, uh, a lot of people were complaining about how hard it was to find these prosecutors to kill, and I agreed with them for quite a while. I was playing a lot of missions, and like I'm only finding like one a match. And as it turns out, there was a glitch, and they patched it in the hotfix where you could only find one prosecutor per match. Thank goodness they fixed it, because in this match I found tons, probably 40 or 50, over the span of a 30-minute match. And I just got an insane amount of beacons. I'll show you at the end of the video. It is insane. And, yeah, also, we ran into the Grustrag 3 while we were playing the survival mission, which is hilarious, because I've never gotten to run into them besides one time, which I was on a rescue mission, and they killed my rescue target, so that sucks. And I got a lot of mods from the Grustrag 3 that I needed, so, yeah. But I'm getting entirely off topic. Uh, like I said, some of them are more rare. When you come on these missions, make sure to bring at least one Necros with you, so that whenever you can, ki or whenever you kill the prosecutors, you can use Desecrate on their bodies and get a second roll at it. Now, if you're lucky and you kill the prosecutors with slash damage, it will cut their body in half, and you will be able to use Desecrate on each part of their body giving you two extra rolls to get beacons. So, you shouldn't have a hard time getting all the beacons that you need in a couple of runs of this map, uh, as long as you have a Necros. I also recommend using a frame like Rhino, as you can see me using Rhino here, because the longer you go on, the harder the enemies are going to get, and since you're already playing on a high-level node, the enemy's difficulty is going to increase quickly. So make sure you have a frame like Rhino that can tank damage, or Trinity that can heal your teammates, because if your teammate gets down, you're going to need to be able to go revive them without getting downed yourself. The Rhino is also useful because of his Rhino Stomp ability, as you see me using throughout this video, to put the Prosecutors up in the air so your teammates can fire upon them. And now, the Prosecutors will spawn with one of the four base elements before their name, and that will be the only type of damage they are susceptible to. If you try to use any other type of damage on them, it will do little to nothing. So, if they're a Fire Prosecutor, you have to use Fire Damage. If they're an Ice Prosecutor, or whatever their name is, you have to use Ice Damage. Um, there are only... Uh, prosecutors for the four base types of damage, not the combination ones such as Blast or uh, uh, Gas. So you will only be able to use the four base elements, meaning that you're probably going to have some weaker weapons against the regular enemies, but that is a sacrifice you're going to have to make. Uh, make sure at least each of your teammates has one of them, so you can use fire, your friend can use ice, so on and so forth, so that whenever a prosecutor comes in, one of you will always have a weapon that will do a lot of damage to them. Because once they get to, like, level 30, you are not going to be able to kill them with anything except the weapon that they're weak to. Up until then, you're usually going to be able to do a decent amount of damage without having the right element, as long as you've got a really powerful weapon. Uh, as you can see me using my Soma here <laughs> to pretty much decimate these Annihilators. It is a pretty great weapon. So, anyways, that is how you farm for the beacons in Warframe. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Let me know how this mission worked out for you in a comment down below. And look at all of that loot we got. Holy crap. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.